Hello, hello, and welcome to day 11 of the Fall for Watercolor Challenge. Today we're going to be painting a sunflower. Sorry my face isn't on there today. It's been a long day, and you know, I'm, I'm here. Got my nice little fall drink ready to go, and we're going to do it. Okay, so as we're painting sunflowers, I think what makes um, something feel a little bit more less like I'm painting the symbol of a sunflower versus I'm painting an actual sunflower is to think about like the shape that we're using. So instead of a big circle and, you know, doing something, whatever, like this, like a big sun, right? Let's kind of take this, think about the sunflower. Have you ever seen the sunflower with like its seeds in the pod? It's kind of like, a little bowl. Okay. So think about it. Think about this little bowl where it would be coming. So what way do you want it to shape? What way do you want it to face? Okay. You can face a lot of different ways. Okay. And so when we finally have our bowl, I would suggest maybe drawing it with a pencil first. This is just my practice sheet, but then we're going to take our brush and we're going to kind of do Sasquatch ballerina, Sasquatch ballerina. So you kind of little ballerina, Sasquatch ballerina, and we're just going to work our way around. Um, I guess that's not really showing up very dark. Um, so Sasquatch ballerina to make our, our petal shapes. Okay. We want this to be like really light, really chill. All right. Then we're going to add some brown in the middle and do like a little bit of wet and wet. And then we're going to let it dry and add just a little bit extra. So let's get right on into it. First, I'm going to drop everything on the floor. So that's always a good start. All right, here we go. We got sunflower. Okay, so I think I want mine to go. I think I want mine kind of like, like this. Okay. And then I think I'll kind of have this and then like a big leaf. And sunflower leaves, oh, God, just love them. Okay, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm mixing up a little bit of my Hansa Yellow Deep and my Hansa Yellow Light. Pretty happy with that. I probably need to clean a little more space on my palettes. <laughs> I'm just getting so into these colors. Um, but it's fun when you have like a big messy palette. Um, I love this Pottery by Eleni palette because it has more little wells than I need. Okay, so we're gonna go Sasquatch. There we go, Sasquatch Ballerina. I'm just gonna work my way around evenly, okay? Um, and then I'll do some overlapping ones. And I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that some of these will have dried um, before I get to it. I almost could make these bigger, I think, you know? Why not go big or go home? Maybe they're too big, I don't know. You can move your paper around too. Um, but what I love about this Pottery by Eleni is, uh, palette is that I can actually mix up some colors in the wells that I'm not using for my actual paint. So I took my little tubes of paint and I put little blobs of them into each of the wells that I was using. And then I have some extra ones that I can use and like find yellow is one of those colors that I often do a lot of. Okay, now I'm going into the gaps and I'm, maybe I'll grab like a little bit more of my darker yellow color. Maybe I'll throw in a little bit of red in there to get a little bit orange. And I'm just going to go in between and fill in the gaps. And maybe some of these will be dry. I don't think so because I'm feeling like really juicy paints tonight. Um, let's see. And just kind of want this like loose and wiggly, just having fun. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some brown. So I've got a nice kind of reddish, reddish brown. I've got a couple of spots here that I'm just gonna blend together from all over my palette. So whatever brown is making you happy, if you've been using the same palette, I bet you have some nice browns in there from all these fall things that we've been planting. Planting, painting, whatever we're doing here, you know, we're just living our best life. Okay, so I'm just going to make, I'm going to kind of scumble this little, little bad boy, okay? We have been scumbling when we did our fall um, autumn tree. And I'm okay that as I scumble around the edge of this, I'm okay that 
some of it is bleeding a little bit. Okay. I'm wanting that loose floral look. Okay. I'm adding my little blobs of brown. And then I think I might go back in with, oh, I almost put it in my drink. Okay. I'm going to go back in with a damp, clean brush and just kind of blob my brush around. I'm probably going to go back in with some more color and blob, blob my brush around there too. We love a blob. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh man, you I'm getting a concert again. Okay. So now I'm just blobbing in some dark, some darker color with this little scumble. And I love this. If I had been feeling fancy and thinking ahead, I might have done just a quick wash underneath so we don't have all that white peeking out. But you know what? We're just doing it quick and dirty. Who has time for that? So now what I want to do is I want to put down like a light layer of green to kind of trace out where my stem and leaves are going to go. I'm going to keep this really light and airy. I don't want to really get into the yellow. So I'm just going to kind of keep around the perimeter here. Some of it is going in and I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, and so here we're using like leaving that white space so that they don't blend together. I'm going to pull this leaf out here. Okay. I'm just kind of tickling around the edge using that white, uh, just a tiny little white line in there to make sure that my colors aren't blending. All right. There we go. We've got some leaf shapes here. And I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I add a little bit of a darker, a little bit of my Caroline green mixed in with some of that olive. Um, olive green. I'm just gonna add like a little bit of, yeah, there we go. A little bit of that darker color into my leaves, because why not, you know? Okay. There we go. And my, I found, I don't know if you can see, but the paint is sort of staying where it is it's in the sweat and wet. Some of it is bleeding. Some of it is not. I, I like this happy medium. I feel like this is when you're working in wet and wet, this is a really nice sweet spot to be in where it's wet, but it's not like everything is chaos in there. Okay. So I liken this consistency to like a Zamboni, like a freshly Zamboni ice rink. Um, so if you don't know what a Zamboni is, it's one of those things that go around the ice rink to make it nice and smooth. So it makes this like really smooth, glossy surface um, from which to skate. And that's really where our paint's going to um, be in a really sweet spot where it will ebb and flow because it is wet paint, but it's also gonna stay somewhat where we put it. If we have way too much water, the water and the paint is just gonna be like everywhere. And if we don't have enough water in our paint, if it's too dry, then the paint won't go anywhere. It won't do any of that traveling. So that Zamboni is like a really nice sweet spot where um, we can get a lot of really great wet and wet action happening. All right, so now this isn't totally dry, but I'm gonna go mix up a little bit of like an orangey situation. And I'm just gonna pull in from where I was stumbling. I'm just gonna add a little, some, just some personality pieces here. And I don't want it to look like too uniform, you know, just kinda, woo, sunflowers are wild. They're just, they have a mind of their own. They just love to go everywhere. We're just gonna let it do its thing, okay? Maybe at the top corner, it doesn't really have as much, right? I'm okay with that. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna let this dry um, and I might add just a smidgy more, um, but let's just let this dry for a little bit. I'm gonna use my hair dryer because you know me, no patience. Um, you do you, let's see you in a bit. All right, so flowers are my favorite thing to paint. I love painting flowers. I love to start with a nice, juicy, wet and wet layer and then come back in and add more detail. And so that's what we are going to do. Um, I wanted to note a couple of things. So remember how I mentioned that I wish I had kind of done a darker color in the center? I could technically do that now. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add just a plain wet circle. And the reason why I'm doing this just plain water rather than um, going in with the color is I 
don't really want a hard edge. So I'm adding a little bit of color here in the middle of the circle to just give it some texture, but I don't want like a big circular edge around my flower. So that gives it that background and that's a glaze, right? We have our first layer and we have our second layer over our dry first layer. Um, okay, the next piece that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little definition to this flower. And I'm actually gonna use, um, I'm gonna use a size two brush. This is my Infinity Arts brush. Holy shit, it's still slinging these brushes. It is gonna be one of the giveaway um, treats as some of her brushes. So yeah. who knows, you could be the lucky winner because she's not making them anymore. Um, but if you're in the Colorado state and can't remember where she is, but um, she has a studio named The Colony um, where she offers a lot of open art space kind of thing. So what we're gonna do right here, rather than painting on new leaves, we could do some of that, okay? We could do a couple, you know, a couple little wayward leaves. What I can wanna do is add like, almost like a little outline, All right? So adding, and I'm making this loose, okay? Some flowers, some flowers are so, they just have so much personality. And so what I'm doing is I'm adding, I don't know, maybe a couple little extra petals, but what I'm really doing is outlining some of them and you know how petals, petals, petals kind of have that little bunch where the petals are like furled in, adding a little bit of that, okay? And a little bit of shape, a little bit of texture, maybe creating some definition where some of those previous shapes were blended in together. Okay, maybe adding a little bit to the end. One thing I love is when you make a hard line come up. Okay, so I don't know if you can see here. Let's go, let's dig in here. Do you see, oh my God, this came was like wiggling on me. You see how this leaf shape kind of didn't go out into a leaf? Okay, imagine there's like a cool highlight on there and I'm actually gonna outline the part that isn't even painted. And so that juxtaposition between the white space and the and where the paint is gives the illusion of this highlight, which I think is just really cool. So I think it's one of those ones you wanna like stop while you're ahead, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more definition with the green situation in here. Okay, I'm grabbing some of my olive green and a little bit of my pearling green. Just wanna give like a little bit, oh, not very wet there a little bit more water because I want this to be somewhat smooth. Okay, adding a little more definition to my leaf here. I still want it to feel really um, loose and limber. Um, loose watercolor. Okay, my, my type A girlies, my firstborn daughters, I'm telling you, this one's going to be a hard one, a hard pill to swallow, okay? The loose watercolor is not going to look how you want it to look. It's never going to turn out how you want it to turn out, okay? But it could be even more amazing than you ever could have imagined. It's gonna be hard to let it go, all right? I promise you can do it. Um, one thing that can help, I mentioned this in one of the previous ones, is um, if you're looking to kind of have a little bit more less, a little more less, a little less control, um, just bring your hand further back on your paintbrush. Oh, I like that kind of brushy action that's happening there. Okay, I'm gonna leave it, all right? I wanna do more, but I think I think we're good. I think this is our sunflower, all right? Oh, he's so cute. All right, so happy painting. Um, let me know in the comments what, like, I don't know, was there a most helpful tip out of this? Um, We'll have to talk about flowers tomorrow. We're doing a fall bouquet. So if you haven't signed up for the challenge, what are you doing? Go ahead and do that. And um, don't forget on Friday, we're doing a live giveaway for Ruby Mountain Paint Co's uh, salt pigment. So definitely stay tuned for that. That'll be on Instagram and TikTok Club. So happy painting, friends. Do, 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 do.